everyone. Um, I am here to do an installment of 3 and 30. I am up to letter K. And I am going to do, uh, K is for kindness. And I'm going to use these kindness quotes. Um, so uh, Tina originally did kites. And I couldn't, couldn't quite wrap my head around a kite. Couldn't do that. So I apologize, but I'm switching it up. And I found these um, these quotes from Brainy Quote, and I just typed them out on a dock and in a, like a typewriter font, printed them out on regular typewriter, uh, not typewriter, <laughs> uh, printer paper, and then I sprayed the paper with some um, some re some vintage photo re inker that I have diluted in a spray bottle, and they're also nice and dry. And the other prep I've done is I thought I would do um, these envelopes, which I have a video on here on having done these before, um, but I felt like I wanted to do those. don't really have a journal that I'm going to use them for at the moment, but it's, you know, that one's kind of germinating in the back of my head. And then I have these pictures. So part of what this is about is I have seen just a ton of really horrible stories in my um in the local news lately about really horrible things that people are doing to animals like just yesterday there on the cape cod which is near where i live somebody broke into somebody else's barn and let all the horses out except for one pony that they then brutalized and he's fighting for his life right now it's just Horrible. And then down in Florida, someone's been attacking bottlenose dolphins. Who attacks dolphins? I mean, it's just, just been like this whole string of really horrible stories. So, so I need to like rail against that a little bit. And so what I did is I went out and I got, I, I had these from Mrs. Cox. I have adorable puppies. I have our loyal dogs. Um, and these are, these are those images. They're just all these really sweet images of dogs and kids, because dogs and kids go very well together, just adoring each other and keeping each other company. Oh, look at that. He's giving the baby a kiss. <laughs> I love that one. All right, this is in Mrs. Cog's. But it's a pony, and look, there is a little puppy dog there, and she's being very sweet to the pony. And there are a couple of kids. This is not Mrs. Cogs. It's a different one, but he's feeding him some grain out of his hat. And there's some horses sharing hay with a pigeon. And this is Mrs. Cogs. This is a little girl, or I think it's a little girl, just being very sweet to a baby puppy who's not feeling so well. So, these images and these quotes are going to help me feel better. All right, so let's start start with, um, let's just start at the top. This is Mark Twain, and Mark Twain said, oh, I'm sorry, I've got to start my watch. Timer. I had it, had it set. Timer. See. Resume. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. I mean, I do tend to cheat, but at least not at the beginning. All right. So I'm going to trim this down a little bit, and I'm going to include this on the pocket. So the pocket, these envelope pockets, are those three pieces are one large envelope that I've cut into thirds, and I have just covered up the... Um, the gum part there and um, so this will have this will be a side pocket there and a tuck there the center one will be a tuck there and a kind of a flow through pocket there and then this one will be opposite that on the opposite side pocket here tuck there so it's just a matter of decorating them Okay, I'm so bad at cutting straight with scissors. I always tend to veer off the side. And I think I will ink those edges. 
Oh, you know what? I think I'm going to round the corners first. This is a um, crocodile corner chomper from We Are Memory Capers. I really like it. It has a half inch and a quarter inch, and it does seem really mondo and huge compared to some of those little cornery ones that people just squeeze. But it's got some power, and you can corner chop uh, some really sizable thicknesses of board and paper and I find it really really handy it always lives just to the side there in a little drawer so I can just grab it at all times okay so kindness is a language which the deaf can hear and the blind can see by Mark Twain and I think I will glue that against there so this is the other thing I just did so I started off with, I used to use this art glitter glue bottle, but that ran out. And then I put the top onto this art glitter glue bottle. And this is a gorgeous pin that I absolutely adore, but it's all the pin itself has gotten bent and wonky. So I bought these off of um, Amazon. They arrived yesterday and I just squeezed it in. And I'm going to try this out. It's not... It's not yet clogged. It comes with a pin. Um, there are several other bottles. And it seems to work, be working well. I might have to go against that back again. Uh, yeah. I'll just round that off a bit and follow the edge there. I have some straw paper I could back this with. It doesn't, I don't think you can make this back here too strong or too thick because it's going to be what catches, um, it's going to be what catches anything that you're sticking in there all the time. So this is some straw paper from Roxy Creations on Etsy, uh, Rachel's store, yikes. All right, but maybe it can be a little thick. All right, I just made a mess of that, I admit it. But it will look fine, it really will. I'm gonna need some smaller scissors to cut around that one. So these scissors that I'm using are um, Tim Holtz Tonic Studios. I always look at that and think it says Ionic, but I teach science, so. Am I even on screen here? Okay, so there's that. Okay, so that will be the um, the tuck, and then we need an image to go on that bit, and it's got to be a vertical image. Oh, these are so sweet. I'm gonna do this one. <laughs> so sweet, um, but I think I want to change that background and she has a beautiful blue satin sash and I, I grabbed some other background papers that I thought might work um, and I thought I had a piece that had blue in it oh, that's too thick I'm just looking through my little extra piles here to see if I have on the memorandum cardstock, there's one of the, oh, that's pretty. One of these, is that the same blue? Yeah, let's look at that. So this is the Tim Holtz memorandum paper and I've used up most of the sheets and I'm down to these ones that are the six by six and then the other ones are what? 
three by three? Or are they, I don't know, three by three or four by three? Yeah, that's nice. So I think I will glue this down. I will cut the thumb hole um, after I get it all glued down. Um, it says, Frank, did you see the sunrise? It will be a fair day. The hens have left the roost and the birds are flying from tree to tree. Oh, that's nice. That's a nice sentiment. I won't be able to see it, but it's there. Okay, gluing that down there, and I'll just cut around at the back. Again, I am not one to get really finicky about measurements. When you can just cut around. Okay. I think I'm gonna need some lace or something, but for now. So I printed these on Epson um, matte presentation paper, and I do have an Epson printer. I don't love my Epson printer, but that did come out nice and vibrant, didn't it? I think I'm gonna use my glue stick for this one. For gluing, for glue stick gluing, I use the Scotch Create. Um, and I need my glue book. close to the top so that you can still see. I like the Scotch Create. It, um, it is permanent. I think you can get it um, so that it's repositionable. I don't buy the repositionable because um, I want it to be permanent. And then this one will have a thumb hole on this side. I just need to Uh, glue this down. I think I'll just glue it down on the one side so you can stick things in the front and on the side there. Um, but I think it needs some little lacy trim. Oh dear, avalanche. I think I say that every video lately. Oh dear. Okay, so I have a plastic shoe box here to the side with several little trims. I guess that if I, I wonder if wouldn't it be cool if I could match her blue satin sash. I don't think I, I can. I have some sorry silk that approximates that color somewhere. I have another bin of sorry. Um, but it's not in that bin. And then I have another bin of trims. I'm sorry, was my head just in the frame? I apologize. Ah, here. Ooh, it's very close. Let's see if I can find the end. I have this. It's a little more turquoisey than hers is, more lavendery. But I think I, I think I like it. Do I want it at the top? I like it at the border, the boundary. Okay, um, I'm gonna glue that on last. Let me do my. Thumb hole, I use a two inch punch for my thumb hole. Oh my gosh, I've been totally, oh, it's 10 minutes. I'm almost there. Okay, so I'm gonna do my little thumb hole. I always hold it upside down so that I can see. I'll put a little bit of ink around that to um, tie everything in and emphasize the edges. I think I will put a little edge of silk here. Look how precise that works. That is awesome. And I'm just gonna kind of willy-nilly glue that on, not worry about whether it's open or closed or folded, or it's just gonna be there. 
Okay. And then I'll just glue this edge down here. And voila! Kindness, quote, pocket. Be kind to animals, folks, please. Pocket number one. Yeah. And then you've got the Taiji Dolph. I mean, there's just so much horribleness going on. It's just unbelievable. Okay. All right. So that was a right hand. This one is a left hand. Let's find another quote. Um, these are bigger. This one... No act of kindness, no matter how small, is ever wasted. And this one can go on the front pocket again. I think that will fit nicely. I might have to back it because it's more narrow. Or it is narrower. Okay. So that is no act of kindness, no matter how small is ever wasted. Yeah, I definitely need some um, card on the back of that. So let's pick an image so that we can coordinate all of our cards. Oh, these are so cute. Um, oh, look how sweet. I love pictures of dogs and kids hanging out. I have two kids. They're kind of big and two dogs. They're also big, but they're all, and there's actually a couch right there to my right. This is like the family room and the TV's over there and the couch is opposite the TV. And then I'm against this wall over here. Like this is where I am. The couch is here and the TV is here. And both of my dogs right now are curled up like bookends on either side of the couch. They're being very cute. Ah. Oh. They're both rescues. Okay, I'm going to trim these edges. That's more of a dark lavendery kind of a dress, isn't it? I'm gonna use a different card. Um, I think it is, I'm still gonna use the Tim Holtz one though. Oops, I missed. So I have this, this one. Oh, it's a little more gray than I thought on that one. What do I have in the right shade there? Um, I've got... Nope. That's more Tim Holtz. The Tim Holtz are a little um, dour, I think, for this. Well, there's that one. Oh, that's pretty because it's all flowers. Yeah, I, that, that, I feel, feel like this is a little green, but it's cheerful and it's different enough that it will work. Okay, so every flower is a soul blossoming in nature. Oh, in all things of nature, there is something of the marvelous. Oh, this is really nice. Okay, I'm going to try not to disrupt those quotes because I'm going to want to use them. Earth laughs in flowers by Emerson. Okay, so this paper is, oh, uh, I can't remember. I can't remember, but I love it. Okay, so I'm just going to cut this, this flower out here because it's the right color. So, um, so I did a, um, a friendship challenge for the, for Roxy Creations channel for Rachel and she just posted it yesterday, but I've been home for a couple days with a tummy bug and it was perfect timing and I just kind of had an idea right off the bat of what I wanted to do. And I've got it all packed up and it's ready to go. 
and it made me so happy to do it. I mean, it just is such a lovely idea to have someone make something by hand for you and then she's gonna do, she's gonna show them, I assume, and then have like a little playlist. And it's just gonna be fun. I think it's such a brilliant, um, brilliant celebration. A brilliant celebration of, of an individual, but also, you know, a way to showcase what a wonderful community, the this craft community on YouTube is. So I'm very excited about that. can't really see it but it's just a hint of color um, I have I have some other sorry silk and um, ribbons that I'll use but nothing quite in her color of her dress so we'll have to make do all right where's my other piece here so then I think I'll use this this corner here for um, the top background those quotes we're doing for time not too bad I might make it why not might have to cheat again but I might make it we'll see I have no qualms with cheating okay I really want that butterfly on there yep I like it Okay, little tiny bottle, do your stuff. It's actually a really nice sunny day here on the east coast of Massachusetts. Um, it's, we've had just lots. We haven't had much in the way of snow, but we have had a lot of rain and a lot of gray this winter. Um, and it does have an effect. And it is the last week right now before February vacation. So the kids at school are just going crazy. Everybody's tired, everybody's ready for a break. Usually by now we've had like a snow day or two to break it up, but we've had no snow. I don't think we'll be in drought because we have had a lot of rain. It just isn't as nice in the winter to have rain because it's also cold I mean it's still cold it's just cold and rainy and it just gets into your into you and ugh, chills you to the bones all right oh that's so pretty okay I'm good with that let's glue her down I, ha I hesitate because I was thinking maybe we need another frame around her but I Every time I do this, I always get tempted to do more, and you don't want it to be too um, too layered, because then it just gets unwieldy and bulky. So here's my glue book. I'm looking for my glue book. I'm just gluing off screen on my lap for a second. I hope you bear with me, because I don't have a lot of space. The plan is to build a studio shed this summer out back, and we're going to whip the yard back into shape. We never quite got it back after we renovated a couple years ago. So that is the job this summer. No traveling, just home, kind of homesteady stuff. All right. No act of kindness, no how, matter how small, is ever wasted. Look at that sweet face on that puppy. He's saying, it's okay. I love you. All right. I want a little bit of trim. Right here, I have that same that same blue sorry silk that I use. I also have a little bit of this. Um, <laughs> I just undid this entire roll, and it's not exactly. It doesn't. I don't have anything that color of her dress, but I like that this seam binding, nonetheless. I'd rather do sorry silk. I just I like the way sorry silk like folds, and it's a little more. Um, should do it along this side. No, no, 
that's not doing it for me. Um, let's see. I have some other trims that are neither sorry nor uh, uh, seam binding. I have all these. None of them are quite the right color, are they? That's really bright. Uh, there's this. That's closer. All right. Oh, you know what? I should have. What's this? Does this have anything? I've got this bit. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's the one. Ha ha ha. I'm going to go right along this edge between the quote and the paper. Yay. And I like that little green ties in um, the green on the page as well. Oh, that's nice. I like that. I suppose I could have used just uh, lace also, but I like that. Okay, that is two. Two pockets. Whoa. Oh, wait, it's not completely done. I need to tie, glue that down there. So it's a tuck, and I need to thumb hole it here. And throw some ink <laughs> on that. All right, what a pocket number two. No act of kindness, no matter how small, is ever wasted. Okay, and last quote. So this is gonna be tricky. Let me find my pocket. The last quotes are, are larger. Oh, I think I've lost my pen. See, this is this is the problem. Here we go. This is why, this is why I got that giant Mondo pen because I am rubbish at keeping track of the pen. Okay, we have a narrow one. What what wisdom can you find that is greater than kindness by Jean-Jacques Rousseau? And I got these two great Dalai Lama quotes. This is my simple religion. There is no need for temples, no need for complicated philosophy. Our own brain, our own heart is our temple. The philosophy is kindness. And this one says, whether one believes in religion or not, and whether one believes in rebirth or not, there isn't anyone who doesn't appreciate kindness and compassion. They're such good quotes. But the thing is, if I use that whole quote on here, then it doesn't, I don't have space for the image. If I use it on there, I suppose I could, I could lengthen. Now I'm going to use the Jean-Jacques Rousseau because, not because it's a better quote, but because it will fit better. And then I promise I will use, find an opportunity to use those Dalai Lama quotes some other time. They will not be wasted. Okay. Okay. What wisdom can you find that is greater than kindness? I, let's see. <laughs> right there I have a lamp. And the lamp has an arm. And I have all those fibers just draped over the arm of the lamp crazy. And oh, that's what I was talking about, the shed. So I have great plans and ideas for how I'm going to get organized when I have my shed. So that will just fill up the page right there. I mean, they're all such good images. Also, I have these these little birdhouse ones. I thought those were good, nice depictions of kindness. People looking out for other creatures, but I don't think they're big enough. All right, I think I will do this one. I think I'll trim 
her, him, her, I don't know, so that we see her feet. And there's that. I need some kind of bit of card to back. And she's got kind of blue socks, but are pink. I have some pink. Didn't I have some pink? Yeah, I have this kind of, this, no, that green doesn't go. Green isn't, got that. But her dress isn't quite that pink. Um, I've got this. This is uh, the cover, the back of the cover from Spring Botanic. I do kind of like that. I'm going to go with that one. Okay. I love it when they give you paper packs that allow you to um, not waste the cover. Okay, so I'm just going to glue this on and then and then cut around rather than try and get it exactly right. Oh, there we go again. Pin, it's gone. Here it is. I do have some magnets <laughs> um, set up for that, but <coughs> I keep forgetting to use them. All right, here we go. I'm gonna set it down. Can you see where I am? Down here, right on that bottom corner. stuff really does not leave you much time see that's what I do I whoop okay luckily I was giving myself plenty of margin to recut and trim Okay, so there's that front. Happy with that. I um, just think I should cover the back too. And then on either side, it will just poke out. Or is that all too matchy matchy? I kind of like it because there is a little bit of green and red in this background. I think I do like that. And it'll also give it a little bit more, um, it'll give this a little bit more stiffness, a little more uh, support, a little more, I don't know what you want to call it, fortitude, a little more um, durability, I think is what I'm actually going for. Is that the right side? Yes. Um, so I don't know, I just went for my glue stick. I don't know why I chose my glue stick over my, uh-oh, I just ran out of time. <laughs> okay, so now it's time to cheat. The, 30, the, the three and 30 part doesn't phase me. I don't mind that I seem to never be able to make it in 30. That's not, for me, that's not quite as, big a deal. I don't know why. I don't mind. I come close. My intention is there. But I can't seem to make 3 and 30. Alright. So that is my very, very matchy, matchy background. But however, when we put this down, it's gonna cover so much of the um, strawberries. I think those are strawberries, or clover. I guess those are clover. It's clover background that I don't think it will matter. Uh-oh. Oh dear. It's all right. Got a little bit smushed. 
time to change that page, eh? Okay, let's see about getting this. Oh wait, I was going to make sure that I could see that bottom. Am I gonna cut, I'm gonna cut off her head. Oh dear, I just messed that up. Ha. So I'm just gonna go from her head. I wanna be able to see her whole head. But I didn't wanna cover up too much of the bottom either, okay. All right, we got that, we got that. I'll just snip this back bit off. So the other nice thing about these Tim Holtz scissors is they're grooved. So even when you cut messy, gluey, sticky bits, they don't seem to ever suffer. I mean, I've washed it once or twice, but hi, these are an excellent line of scissors. I'm gonna leave it, leave it to good old Tim. Okay, so there is the image with a little bit of the clover background, and then we're gonna come up, cover up some of that clover background with this, and maybe I would like a little um, uh, cheesecloth-y stuff behind that to tone it down even more. So I have this, uh, I think this is coffee dyed. And it's just a big, big glop of it that I popped into the coffee one day. Because um, her dress is pretty faded. Um, it's not quite doing it for me. Kind of mimics her hair a little bit, but I think I can, I can do better. I've got all this lace down here. Maybe this one is going to call for some antique lace. So I have this bin of all my laces. So I think that can go there. And I've got this here. I could do it like that. Or I could do it at the bottom. That's pretty, but it's too big. Uh, I've got this is a similar width, kind of crocheted, it's a little more open weave. I think her dress is whiter, so I think I'm gonna go with this. I also have this cool one. Now, but look how what's on such a cool spool there. Um, that 